Well, today we're generating some real estate leads using Facebook ads. Now, generally within these videos, we'll talk a little bit of strategy on what you need to be running and how to actually run the campaigns. So we would go over to Facebook, we would open up the ads manager and you would see me create the campaign the ad set and then actual ad that we're going to launch. So generally that's what happens. But today I'm gonna throw you a curveball. Today we're gonna do none of that. What? And now you may be thinking you click baiting mother. Now before things go crazy, we're still gonna generate some real estate leads and we're still gonna use Facebook ads, but I'm gonna share with you a radically different way to do that. Today we're gonna to use Agently, which is a revolutionary platform that is absolutely taken over. You're gonna have the ability to launch Facebook ads with a few clicks. And I'm gonna share with you exactly how to do that. Now, before we get into generating those buyer and seller leads, understand that the Facebook ads launcher, which is what we're gonna to use today, is just one piece of the puzzle. You have the ability of using personalized templates for your brand, you have the ability of launching your own personal website with a few clicks as well. So what we're using today is just a fraction of what Agently can do for your business. Okay, so this is us logged into Agently. Now, before we go further, I wanna share with you one small thing. I am actually an owner in Agently, so I wanted to make sure that you're fully aware of that. So just wanna be as transparent as possible with you there. Now, these are some demo listings. So this is a demo account. As you can see, you're, you're not gonna start off with listings. You're gonna add a new listing and then go on from there. However, what we're interested in right now is actually the ads manager. Now you have several goals that you can accomplish. There are several things that you can accomplish through the ads manager. You can generate buyer leads. So just as the name suggests, launch campaigns that generate buyer leads for you. So if I click there, it's gonna ask me to connect to Facebook. And I, I click here, it's gonna ask me to connect to Facebook, which we will do here shortly so you see what it looks like. Um, generating seller leads is also on the table. So if you're looking to generate some seller leads, this is the platform for you. And then promote the listing. So this is over here on the listing side, you can actually leverage your listing and then run some promotion to it. So whether you have a listing or don't have a listing, this is the tool for you. Now, as you can, as you saw there a couple of seconds ago, the connection to Facebook must be made. It makes sense. We're actually launching Facebook ads, except we don't have to go over to the ads manager in order to do that. So we're gonna go to promote listing just for this illustration so you can kind of see what it looks like. Make sure you have read and accepted the uh, Facebook terms of service. So for the page that I'm gonna use, I have already done that, but I'm gonna click read and accept as well. And as you can see, I've already accepted the lead ads terms and I don't have to click accept because I've already done that. If you haven't accepted this from your business page, then it's going to ask you to do that. I'm gonna go back here and then make sure you have read and accepted Facebook's non-discrimination policy. So again, I've already done that, but for you, you're gonna have to do it as well. And this is what it looks like. So in case you have not run an ad before or you have not accepted this terms and conditions, you can see I've already done it, I mean, several years ago, <laughs> this agreement was executed a long time ago. But for you, it's just gonna say I have and I, I have read and I do accept. So you're gonna be good to go there. So you're that's another step that you need to take. And then you're gonna add a payment. So on this one, I'm not gonna click through to the add payment because it's gonna go to some sensitive information, but very much as the name suggests, you're gonna add a payment method, which is very simple to do. And then finally, you're gonna connect Facebook to publish ads. So I'm gonna click, click connect, and this is the page that I'm gonna move forward with. Then I'm gonna hit next, and then I'm gonna leave all of these permissions on. And now when I click promote listing, some ads are gonna show up. Now you're gonna see the just listed ad, the for sale ad, the open house ad, the new price ad, home of the week, virtual showing for rent, and all that fun stuff. So these are all different messages that you can convey through your ads. You didn't have to do basically anything for this outside of a few clicks here and there, and you're off to the races. And now we're just gonna confirm a few things. We're gonna select the Facebook page, which we did already. So we've already connected this Facebook page. 
we're gonna connect it to the right ads account that we want so most of you are only gonna have one ad account which is fine however mine my ads manager has over 50 <laughs> so uh, we're just gonna select the the one that I want to launch from and then I'm gonna change the budget to $20 for one day I'm gonna select the listing that I want to promote and then I can edit the ad copy if I want so this is the ad copy right here when it comes to the location that's going to be the epicenter of where the marketing starts from so this is just fine if you wanted to market let's just say you wanted to get Californians that are moving to Texas as an example then you would advertise this over in California so you would put Los Angeles in this location because the ads would be launching in that market those people that are to highlight those people that are moving into texas you're gonna hit that you understand that this that you are responsible to pay facebook's charges and you're gonna launch the ad and once you get the successfully launched green notification you are good to go you're gonna start getting some email notifications of when the leads come in now i want to share with you the back end of this now i mentioned to you that we're still going to launch facebook ads which is exactly what we did we're still going to generate real estate leads where which is exactly using the ad copy that you just saw there you can do the very much the same thing from the buyer lease perspective now you see all the different ad copies we can use there if we use sellers we can also do the seller leads right there but what i want to share with you is what it looks like over on the ads manager now this is the ads manager and the campaign that we just launched is right here so when i click on the campaign which is still under review by the way and I click on there you see that I'm walking through the campaigns ad sets and then ads and for you to actually see the ad all you have to do is go to the edit and you're gonna see that it pulled in all of that information now sometimes the images are just not going to sit just right and that's understandable so as you can see here the way that I had uploaded the image was actually my fault I did not add the appropriate um, dimensions there which is fine. What you can do at this point is you can go to edit and you can change the media. So here you have different e e media. If you have the image of the property that you're highlighting, great. If not, you can upload it right here. So I wanted to share with you exactly how you can go in here and edit this. Now, most of you are going to have this set up correctly. Again, this is a demo account, but I just want to share with you a very easy way to come in here and edit. If you wanted to change it for a video, you can absolutely do that. But as far as everything else and how it's set up, it's already been set up the appropriate way. The page has already been set up. The location has already been set up. The placements have already been set up. You didn't have to come in here and choose the special ad category under the house, the housing under the special ad category. All of this has already been done for you. That's the power of agently Again, the exact Facebook ad that you would have launched that would have taken you a considerable amount of time for you to set up was all accomplished within a couple of minutes. The reason that this video took even as long as it did was because I was setting things up. So if you want to try out Agently, I'm going to leave it linked down below so you can check it out. Now before you go, I need to address 79% of you. 79% of you that are watching this message right now are not subscribed to the channel. So I want to beg you and implore you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you get notified every time I go live and every time I upload a video.